Hey there YouTube, Wandering Wizard here to bring you a never before seen solo tower design. I will begin by running through the layout in Fortify so it's easy to follow. Notice that the tool cupboard is hidden in the hexagon honeycombing at the base. Raiders will have to guess where it is and probably won't get it on the first try. The inner doorways and the outer sheet metal walls protect the base from rocket splash damage and also provide more stability for the upper floor. The inner doorways will be left empty without doors in them, I'll show you why later. The third floor has six one by one loot rooms, each with one layer of protection. The loot rooms are all spaced far enough apart from the outside to protect from any rocket splash damage. On the inside there will be another layer of empty doorways to again protect from rocket splash damage and also provide more stability. The roof is fully accessible for defensive purposes. Now let me show you what the base looks like in game. I painted some signs for decoration, of course that's optional. You'll notice from the fortify build and from the runaround here that the entire second floor will be visible from the outside. Rayers will be able to look right through the chain link fence at the front, they'll be able to look through the windows, and they'll be able to tell that there are no entrances to the first floor. Skilled Raiders will understand that means the first floor is just for the tool cupboard. Raiders are unlikely to waste C4 or rockets going after your tool cupboard if they don't think they'll get any loot out of it. You'll notice parts of this base are in sheet metal. That's so somebody doesn't backwards pick the second wall here, jump on top of that, and then pick the loot room from below. Chain link fences are very weak and that's an advantage here. Raiders are going to take out the chain link fence with hand tools before they use any explosives on this base. Once they do this, they'll jump up here and it'll be very obvious to them that there's no loot on the ground floor of the base. This base is designed so that raiders aren't going to even bother trying to find your tool cupboard. The second floor here is reasonably defensible. You'll have a lot of places to hide and shoot from. Just make sure you don't put shutters on the windows because again, you want raiders to be able to see in. Now let's take a look at the third floor. I'll take you around to each loot room. You should find there's plenty of space for whatever you need. Now let's take a quick look at the top of the wizard's tower. There's a lot of room up here, you can see everything, and of course there's a lot of room for further customization. You can add doorways or window frames all around the top, you can add ladder hatches. You can really make the roof your own, the design doesn't call for it just to be one way. I'll move from the roof up here back down to the ground to show you how easy it is to move around this base. Now it's time to test this base with a rocket raid. I was debating exactly how to do this and I think the cheapest method to raid this base is to just shoot four rockets to the base of each loot room. That's pretty straightforward so I didn't want to show that in the video. Instead I'm going to shoot the rockets in the middle of the base and try to rate it in under 24 rockets. Immediately the chain link fence falls down. Since the full rocket raid will take a few minutes, I'll go ahead and give you the results and then you can watch it and see for yourself the evidence. I ended up using 26 rockets to knock down all 6 of the loot rooms. 
I would therefore have saved a couple rockets if I had just targeted the bottom of the loot room from the outside. I don't think I shot all of the rockets perfectly however, this is an unusual base to raid. I think if I shot them all perfectly I probably would have saved a couple or a few rockets. Another important thing to understand is that a rocket shot at the top of the second floor does a little bit of splash damage to the top of the first floor. That means those triangle ceiling tiles that are hiding the six places where the tool cupboard could be are slowly being destroyed as I fire rockets into the center of this base. When I realized the rockets were destroying the ceiling tiles over the tool cupboard, I did a second test to see exactly when they were being destroyed. After about the first six rockets, the ceiling tile closest to me was destroyed, and then every four or so rockets after that, one further back was destroyed. It wasn't until the last couple rockets where the final triangle ceiling tile was destroyed. And that is where I actually had my tool cupboard, so that might be an obvious place to put your tool cupboard. If raiders are shooting rockets in through the chain link fence, putting it in the back gives your tool cupboard the most protection. At the same time, if raiders are actually looking for your tool cupboard and are trying to find it, that might also be an obvious place for them to guess for where it would be. As you can see, the base is holding up well and we still have a good way to go. And with rocket number 26, we have all six loot rooms. I want to show you one last clip of the damage onto the base in the hidden TC area. Again, the first triangle ceiling tile was destroyed after about the sixth rocket. And one more triangle ceiling tile was destroyed every four rockets or so going back. I hope you enjoyed this never before seen base. I look forward to hearing what you think.